Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Battle. I am your host, Tony Mui, and today we have two independent businessmen throwing down in the sneaker gauntlet in one corner. He's a member of the Million Subscriber YouTuber Club. He's got his own clothing line. No relations to Bruce or Jet. Richie Lee is here to battle. What up? And in the other corner. He's an OG in the sneaker YouTuber game. He's probably the only sneaker influencer to have an OnlyFans account. Frenelations is here to battle. It's an OnlyFans account. That's, That's right. right. OnlyFans. And of course, back like nosebleed seats, my guy Jose is here to provide secondary market prices to give the viewers some insight on how these sneakers either appreciated or depreciated over time. Frenelations, you've been collecting sneakers from the beginning of time. What can we expect today in this battle? Uh, definitely a lot of variety, uh, you know, some Jordans. I'm really into SD, so a lot of that. Uh, maybe even a few like sneakers that aren't the you know major brands thrown in there. So, you know, should be a good time. Richie, you hit me up on Instagram last season looking for the smoke. How do you think your collection <laughs> stacks up against Frenelations? Obviously, he's a uh, legend in this, so uh, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see, but uh, you know, I'm big on like the cheaper alternatives, so I, I had to get the real stuff this time. But uh, you know, I think I'll be okay. Gentlemen, this is a five-round bout. Each round will tackle a different category. Both battlers will show off their shoes at the same time from the count of three. And with that said, let us begin. Round one: Show off your best sneaker to wear with a flannel. In three. Two, one, show. Oh, okay. To the Sean Air Maxes, uh, being that he invited me to, you know, be a part of the team working on the sneaker, it has like a really special uh, place in my heart. Love the colors, obviously. Uh, the material choice was so dope. And he actually uh, gave us like custom patches for all, uh, everyone who worked on it and stuff like that. So that was cool to uh, switch that out. And yeah, I just think it's a, you know, perfect shoe to go with anything. Oh, shoot, man. Uh, you know, I just really love the collaboration with Union and Jordan 1 and uh, the whole split construction right here, I think is really crazy. You know, I, I used to really love the red ones with any flannel because I just felt like it, it had that good mix between, you know, athleisure, basically that kind of look. And I thought, I thought this sneaker, you know, really went down in history. I really love the usage of the, even the blue stitching that people don't really uh, notice sometimes with the yellow and red. So honorable mention would definitely be the off-white blazer. Uh, blazer's just, you know, classic shoe. Been loving them since high school. And, you know, just a clean colorway overall, but it still has that flash with the orange swoosh. You gotta mix up the laces, you know? So, Fran, I'll start with you. Those Sean Walder spoons are going for around 1400 on average in the resale market. A great shoe, still stands the time. You know, I think it's not when you see a lot in public, but when you do, you catch eyes with that one. So, good pick on your end. For the Black Toe Union Jordan, that one's going for around 1800 on average. Round two, show off your best yellow sneaker in three, two, one, show. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so these are the Yellow Canary uh, Tiffany Diamonds. I got the uh, DM to go pick up the white and the black pair. And I show up and it was at a diamond store. And as I pull up, Nick Diamond was there and he's like, oh, did we get him the yellow one? They said no, and he's like, go get that. And they brought it out. I wasn't even expecting to be able to purchase these that night. And yeah, here they are. One of the uh, dopest uh, recent SBs in uh, a very long time. So super dope. Man, for these, uh, they just have a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, when we hit 1 million subscribers, uh, my brothers actually got this for me as a gift. It meant a lot because they really, you know, kind of put me on a sneakers growing up. So for them to give me a gift as well, and it meant a lot. And not only to get me a gift, they got me something new. I would say shout out to both of those shoes because they both dropped that Compost Con. Chicago and Long mm -hmm. Beach. Let's go, baby. Yeah, these are crazy. <laughs> these are the SpongeBob Bapes. Uh, I was on vacation in New York when they dropped, lined up, and it was a really small line. Only a couple of people out there picked up my pair and trashed the hell out of these things, but I still love them. Still rock them from time to time. Richie, I'll start with you on this one. Shout out to the Fear God Yellow, the one. That's a sneaker that Jerry wore on his complex cover with John Mayer. And 
I thought it was amazing from the day I saw it. So, and I still do. It's a beautiful shoe. That one is a little all over the place for prices, though. I'm seeing three thousand, some as high as eleven thousand, but with the average for around forty-five hundred dollars. Obviously, super rare. I haven't really seen many other pairs besides that pair Jerry had in person, but definitely a good pick. And then for Fran, those another crazy pair all over the place. I remember when those dropped at ComplexCon, I was in the middle of the wreckage with a camera trying to uh, film, you know, the drop and getting pushed all over the place for it. So those are looking like they're going for around 10K on average. That's on the high hat. And I've seen 14K on the high hat. But, you know, some low pairs going for 6,500, 7,500. It's all over the place with that sneaker. And we know how the release date went. We know where everybody was at that time. And it was crazy. So definitely another good pick. Richie, are those practical basketball shoes? I have not tried to hoop in these, but I think once you actually zip this part up, lace them up tight, get the right sizing, I would say these are a go. Round three, show off your best clickbait sneaker in three, two, one, show. Oh, oh my God. To me, one of my favorite uh, recent collaborations, the Ben & Jerry Chunky Dunkies right here. And uh, for Click Baby, you gotta get give them something, you know, they're just like, what is that? You know, how bright, you know, just something to catch their eye because they roll roll through hundreds and thousands of thumbnails a day. You gotta get them something that'll catch their eye. This is my collaboration with Ilotti, uh, released a few years back, made in Italy, uh, crazy materials and everything like this. Uh, I was super happy to finally be able to, you know, put my branding on a product and, you know, just something I'm still to this day very proud of. And, you know, uh, the first, one of the first times I rocked them, jumped into the ocean wearing these things. I was actually wearing these when I met Kanye. And uh, yeah, just really love the sneaker. Give me the most clickbaity title you can come up with, with that shoe in your hand. OG YouTubers, first sneaker collaboration. I overpaid 100K for a $100 sneaker. What the was I thinking of it? You know how that is. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. Most ridiculous thing. Uh, these are the original uh, Yeezys, first colorway to ever re released with Nike. Uh, this one specifically has like the neon orange in her liner, which is the promo sample. Lined up for them, three days, had the Xbox outside, it was at a movie theater. Stuck my hand in the little uh, ticket so I can plug in a TV. Uh, and uh, we had Xbox going, playing Street Fighter for three days. And it was a fun experience and just a, an all around crazy sneaker that, that started a, a lot of uh, you know crazy hype for another 10 years to come. All right, Jose, talk to me. All right, so friend, those Elotis are, I'm seeing a pair on here, but from what I know about the story, just having your own collaboration is kind of hard to put in place. Not many ha people have that. So we're gonna go with a little bit of a priceless on this one. Hopefully the viewers don't get mad at me. I did my research, I found a pair, but the story's good. And it's not many people that have their own collaboration like that. So shout out to you for doing that. For that Chunky Dunky, Richie, we're seeing those a lot, but the prices aren't going down. That's still around a $1,700 sneaker on resale. That's just for the regular box. Not a lot of people got them, still a lot of people are trying to buy them. And again, that sneaker made waves from the sneakerheads to the moms of the sneakerheads that rock with Ben and Jerry just, you know, from the grocery store. So both good picks from you guys. Moving on to round four. Show off your best Nike dunk in three, two, one, show. Oh, okay. Just one of those iconic uh, Supreme Dunks. Uh, this release actually was like a, a special edition Soho. So in on the uh, box, it says Supreme Gray instead of just gray. So they were released in Soho and I think they may have made a mistake or something on the uh, label on the box or something like that. But as far as the sneaker goes, just a really dope, easy to wear sneaker. This is the uh, Jeff Staple Pigeon Dunk, Stutter Riots, everything like this. Out of the whole city pack, I feel like it's the most wearable just super clean with the gray and like still has the crazy color hits, which you gotta love. I got these a long time ago on eBay. I think in uh, 2007 or something like this, they were still under a thousand dollars at that time. Now they're way more than that. Uh, I actually uh, camped out a few years later for a Jeff Staple like toy release where he signed them and uh, he had mentioned how he recognized me from the videos and, ev and everything like that. He asked me why I first started doing the videos. I told him so that, you know, one day I can do a sneaker club which uh, fortunately I was able to do. I got the white ones, man. I feel like this was just the perfect contrast with the black. There's this like iconic photo from back in the day where this guy had the two 
dunks like this and he had the uh, G-Shock on. I don't know why, but it always really stood out to me that when I was like in elementary school. And uh, yeah, so I always wanted to get both of these. These go down in history. Like cement print was like everything to me growing up. You still want it on the keychain. I would, probably would have wrapped a you know, car in it if I had that type of money. But yeah, cement print, true blue colorway. One of my favorite sneakers. I love just wearing a whole bunch of crazy mix, mix match stuff. So uh, as soon as I saw these things, I knew I wanted them, was able to get them on release date, lined up for my Brooklyn Project. Shout out to Brooklyn Projects. And yeah, it's still the same pair. I've been wearing them for over 10 years and it's one, probably my most frequently uh, worn shoe, I would say. Fred, I thought you sold all your sneakers to Dre, man. I did sell a lot of sneakers to Dre, but uh, not these. I'll start with Richie first. Those Supreme Dunks are definitely going for a lot right now. You said you paid 1500 for that other pair. Definitely is a steal from what I'm seeing to the black and red pair. Average is usually like $7,500 for those. Some higher, 10 grand I'm seeing, and higher and higher. And then for Fran, you're sitting on a gold mine, man, with both those pairs. That staple dunk is definitely going for around $20,000 on average, which is absolutely insane. To get $1,000 is a steal. It's one that made waves again from way back in the day and still does. Round five. This round is called Battler's Choice. Whatever sneaker you want to use against your opponent, now is the time to do so. In three, two, one, show. Oh my God, what the hell? You know, I recently said on my channel, there's no way that these are the sneaker of the year because how can you be sneaker of the year if you're not really, you know, unobtainable and you're not for the people? But as far as collaborations go in the sneaker itself, I can't deny like, you know, from the construction of them, the, uh, you know, Italian leather is just insane. And uh, yeah, definitely a sneaker I, I thought about, gave a lot of reasons not to get them, but more reasons to get them. So uh, yeah, I just had, a, I don't know where these will fall in sneaker history, but I know it'll fall somewhere really uh, special. So yeah, I actually do like these a lot. This is not the OG Black Summer 3, but the first retro. I picked these up years ago from Riff, shut up for 60 bucks, but basically anytime they release the Black Summer 3, man, this is just one of my favorite shoes of all time. Even when they do like crazy colors, um, well, first off, kind of pack and, you know, the newer release, which is just insane. And I just think it's a timeless colorway that can be remixed so many different ways and it's so dope. Fran, I'll start with you. I'm seeing one pair on here from $1,500, which is definitely high for an old sneaker like that. And then Richie, that Dior, have you put that on the ground yet? Oh yeah. Well, you know, there's a massive tag on those. A lot of people looking for those and the prices I'm seeing for them are sky high. It's a five figure shoe, let's just say that. And the five figure range is anywhere between $10,000 and $30,000 for some other pair. All right, well that concludes another episode of Sneaker Battle. Thank you to Richie Lee. Thank you to Fran Relations for throwing down in the sneaker gauntlet. But before we get out of here, I want to swing it over to these guys so that they can tell us all about the projects that they're working on. I'll start it off with Richie Lee. So right now I just have the YouTube thing running. Um, we have a couple you know, different segments on there, Hype Talk. Uh, we do vlogging. Um, there's even like a House of Hype thing where we uh, do a little more like round table discussion. We also have the Richie Lee Collection clothing coming out very soon. We have some shorts dropping. These are the uh, shorts coming out very soon. They're kind of like these tactical um, cargo pant uh, shorts. These are going to be dropping in a couple weeks. I've been uploading to YouTube for over 10 years. Just catch videos there. Uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, I started an OnlyFans. It is sneaker related content, guys. No, like, you know, crazy stuff like that. So definitely head right, on over show there. Show nipple. <laughs> You crazy. Head over there, subscribe. I do crazy giveaways. I give away a pair of off-white dunks. I'm really into collectibles, so you know, Pokemon cards, all that stuff's gonna be on there. It's a lot of fun, so definitely uh go subscribe over there. I'm also on Twitch, uh that's Frenulation, so pretty much across all social media you can find me. And uh still working on my clothing brand, which I uh, hope to launch in the you know coming months, so stay tuned for that. Jose let us know what should the viewers do what on the pairs not the prices and shout out to both of you guys richie fran very nice to meet you guys hopefully the viewers do the right thing in this one yes sir let us know in the comments below who won this battle and we'll see you on the next episode peace